Hey my crafty friends, this is Deborah with All Day Pink and today I'm going to show you a quick video on how I did the layering for one of my images that I put on Facebook. It's really simple and a quick video. So basically, I'm going to show you how to layer in this. Um, we're going to first go to Upload. And this is the image I think I'm going to mess with. Let's see. I'm going to insert image, I think, hopefully. Okay. So let me move this up so you can see her. Minimize it just a little bit and bring it down. So I started with an image from Etsy and it's an SVG. So when you purchase your images, you should look for SVG, ping, and it's another one. But if I'm not using SVG, I'll use ping. So, or the PNG, I just call it ping. But um, when you go over to your Cricut Design Studio, Design Space, um, I pull up SVG. What you then want to do is ungroup. So, over in the layer section, you see ungroup. And when you ungroup it, then you are going to have all of the layers that this image is composed of. I think I might be able to click it and move it. Yeah. See that? That's impressive, right? So you can move different things. So let me undo that and show you how I break apart this uh, image. Let me undo everything. All right. So I just brought it back together, right? So let's just say I want to make this image a little lighter. I'm going to go to um, cut. I'm going to go here. And then let's say I wanted to turn her a lighter brown. There you go. And even though it's different colors here, uh, you can, if you want to do a print, then cut, then, you know, all these colors would be fine. And you would go to, um, instead of cut, you would go to, uh, I think it's draw, but I don't want to do that. So I am going to have her lighter, just for example. Um, and when you change the color on your image or your SVG in design space, or design studio, whatever it's called, it doesn't matter. So, um, it's just letting Cricut know these are going to be cut separate. So, I'm going to go find her lips next, right? So, let's say I want this to be, I want her lips to be red because I'm actually going to match her um, lipstick to her earrings. And then I want to do her eyes. And I want her eye shadow, eye stuff, eye makeup to be red, right? I don't wear makeup, so I don't really know the terms. And so now I want her earrings to be red too. So I'm letting Cricut know everything that's red is actually going to cut on the same mat. And then I'll turn on my Cricut right now so I can get ready to show you. I'm not going to print this on any vinyl because I don't want to print. I'm just showing. So I'm going to turn on my Cricut and that's the noise that you're going to hear. And so I said I want to make her earrings red. So we're going to make her earrings red. See? All right. I'm going to now make her her hair color, see. So her hair color right now looks brown. I don't know how it appears in the uh, video when you see it, but it's brown. So I'm going to find a layer of hair, and I am going to make it brown. Whatever layer I come across, that's the layer we're going to make 
red, okay? So let's do red. Uh, I actually wanted a different one. So I want to undo that. I don't want that layer. I think I want this layer, right? So I want to make that layer red. Awesome. And so this is how I kind of want my image to look. I want her red here and there. So I got her red streaks in her hair. She is so awesome. She is so fly, right? And let's say I'm finished because I didn't want this to be a long video. But we're going to go to save. Well, yeah, I'll save it. And let's just see. Um, I'm going to call her Fly Girl. Yeah, I'm old school, right? So we're going to save her as Fly Girl. Now she is good to go. You see her? She is awesome. I see question. Our cat just walked in, so he might say hi. I don't know. Then I am going to click on make it. And so remember how I was saying Cricut, when you put the different colors in Cricut, it is an alert to Cricut to know that all of these are going to cut separate, right? So this right here is just the frame. And I always move it down a little because I don't like that printing close to that red line so I just move it down and then everything that we turned red on the mat says it's going to be red here and so Cricut identifies it as the red mat and those are the earrings her lips and her eyebrow color eye makeup color and the streaks of her hair and then that is going to be um, I think another hair part. Don't quote me on that one. And shadows again. And then we have her complexion on that mat. Okay. And so then you would do continue. We're going to wait for Cricut, select a device. I think I might have had it on vinyl. So this is the new one uh, since the update. So I will select one, five, eleven. It'll tell you where your material is. That is vinyl. And then you will hit... Um, the cut button will actually you want to place your vinyl in the thing and then you will hit cut but since that's not what I'm going to do I basically want it to I'm going to say yeah I want to cancel the cut I just basically wanted to show you how to do your layering on the Cricut so make sure that you're purchasing things that have SVGs and when you see the SVG you can go up to don't forget you're going to go to layers and then you're going to um let me put that back you're going to go to you know what let's not do that let's just do that go to layers and then you're going to make sure that you ungroup and then you can start uh altering your colors and things like that and then you will go into print I'm sorry, then you'll go into cut, save, and make it, and then you'll cut it. And that's basically how I did that. And if I need to do a video on how I place my vinyls, I'll be happy to do that. But this was just a how-to on how to layer um, your images when you buy them off of Etsy or um, whomever you might buy your images from. So uh, another thing is too, to make sure that you buy images that say that they have layers. And that way when you bring it over to your Cricut design space or design studio, whatever you call it, um, 
you can ungroup and do your own colors. Thanks so much for joining me. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. I'll be coming to you a little more frequently since I no longer do um, cards full time. So thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye. Okay, so I just brought in my before image and my after image. Just to let you see that everything is possible. Thanks. Have a great day.